Comets aren't supposed to behave like this. Astronomers expected 3i Atlas to be just another icy interstellar visitor, a fleeting guest from beyond the solar system, following a script as old as the planets themselves. Instead, it's breaking every rule in the book. From its baffling tale to its alien chemistry, 3i Atlas is rewriting what we thought we knew about comets and challenging how we define normal in the cosmos. When 3i Atlas first entered the watchful gaze of Earth's telescopes in July of 2025, astronomers were already eager to study it. As only the third confirmed interstellar visitor, after Oumuamua in 2017 and 2i Borisov in 2019, it offered another rare chance to peer into the galaxy's distant past. But right from the start, this object refused to conform. The first sign that something was off came from the Hubble Space Telescope. As Hubble tracked 3i Atlas streaking through the solar system, it caught sight of a plume. Only, this was no ordinary tail. Instead of streaming away from the sun, as the solar wind would dictate for any typical comet, the plume pointed sunward. Imagine a windsock at an airport that flies against the breeze. In comet science, this is the equivalent of a cosmic paradox. This sunward plume immediately set off a flurry of discussion. Why would material be thrown toward the sun, defying the very forces that shape every other comet's tail? Some speculated about jets erupting from the nucleus, or unusual rotation exposing new volatile rich regions to sunlight. Even as astronomers debated, new observations complicated the story. The Gemini South Telescope, stationed in Chile, soon captured images showing a more conventional tail beginning to form, this one growing outward, as expected, away from the sun. Now, the comet displayed a split personality, a sunward plume alongside a more familiar tail. This strange duality has left cometary scientists scratching their heads, as no standard model can easily explain such behavior. But 3i Atlas didn't stop there. If its tail was weird, its chemistry proved downright alien. The James Webb Space Telescope, using its powerful infrared eyes, took a deep dive into the gases swirling around the comet's nucleus. What it found was staggering. The coma, the glowing cloud of gas and dust enveloping the comet, was overwhelmingly made of carbon dioxide. In fact, the ratio of CO2 to water was about 8 to 1. To put that in perspective, most comets from our own solar system have far more water than carbon dioxide. This ratio is among the highest ever seen in any comet, suggesting that 3i Atlas was forged in an environment radically different from the icy nurseries that birthed our own celestial snowballs. It likely formed near the CO2 ice line of its parent star, a region where the temperature was just cold enough for carbon dioxide to freeze, but not water. The James Webb data didn't stop with CO2. It also revealed traces of water vapor, carbon monoxide, carbonyl sulfide, and even hints of nickel in the coma. This exotic chemical stew points to a complex history, with ices and gases frozen in deep space for billions of years. These molecules offer a direct sample of the building blocks present in a long-vanished star system, possibly older than our own solar system. Yet even with all that carbon dioxide, water was still present, just in much smaller amounts than we're used to. The Neil Gerrell Swift Observatory, using ultraviolet light, detected hydroxyl emissions, the telltale sign of water molecules being broken apart by sunlight. Ground-based telescopes confirmed the presence of water ice in the coma as well. What's strange is that 3i Atlas was already emitting water and other volatiles while still far from the sun, at distances where most comets remain inert. This ghost of activity suggests that, unlike most solar system comets, 3i Atlas is so rich in supervolatile ices that it can wake up and stay active at vast distances. The surprises didn't end with the comet's gases. Astronomers studying the dust grains released by 3i Atlas found that instead of forming the usual streamlined tail, the dust just lingered around the nucleus in large, slow-moving clumps. This is highly unusual. In most comets, sunlight and the solar wind quickly push dust particles away, creating the familiar sweeping tail. But 3i Atlas seems to be shedding especially large or sticky dust grains, 
or perhaps its surface properties are keeping the dust close. The result is a kind of dust halo, a lingering shroud that hints at unique processes on or beneath the comet's surface. With mass loss rates between 0.3 and 4.2 kilograms per second, 3I Atlas is only weakly active compared to most comets, yet its dust behavior is anything but ordinary. If all that weren't enough, 3I Atlas is also an ancient and massive traveler. Its trajectory and blistering speed, over 130,000 miles per hour, make it the fastest interstellar object ever recorded. This isn't just a comet idly circling the sun, it's a cosmic bullet, hurtling through space on a journey that likely began billions of years ago in the thick disk of the Milky Way. The thick disk is home to some of the galaxy's oldest stars and, presumably, its oldest comets. That means 3i Atlas could be up to 7 billion years old, making it possibly the oldest comet ever observed. Earth-based measurements have pegged its diameter at up to 3.5 miles larger than 2i Borisov, the last interstellar comet, and making it perhaps the biggest visitor of its kind. It spins with a rotation period of about 16 hours, slowly tumbling through the blackness between the stars. So, what's next for this bizarre, rule-breaking visitor? The coming months promise even more drama. On October 3, 2025, 3i Atlas will pass just inside the orbit of Mars, sweeping within 19 million miles of the red planet. Mars orbiters will train their instruments on the comet, hoping to capture close-up data that could shed further light on its mysterious chemistry and activity. Just a few weeks later, on October 29, 3i Atlas will reach perihelion, its closest approach to the Sun. As it swings behind the Sun from Earth's point of view, our telescopes will briefly lose sight of it, and speculation will run wild about what changes might occur during this crucial phase. By early November, 3i Atlas will re-emerge from the sun's glare, likely transformed by its solar encounter. Will its split-tail behavior become even more pronounced? Will volatile ices erupt from beneath its surface? Or will the comet shatter under the heat and stress as some comets do at perihelion? Perhaps it will surprise us again, showing new activity, or some unforeseen behavior that further cements its reputation as the weirdest comet ever found. For now, astronomers around the globe are watching, measuring, and theorizing. Every new observation deepens the mystery. 3i Atlas challenges our understanding of how comets form, how they travel through interstellar space, and how they behave when they finally pass through our neighborhood. Some have even speculated, controversially, whether an object this strange could be artificial, though the vast majority of scientists see only the fingerprints of natural processes, however exotic. A comet that points its tail the wrong way, filled with chemistry that doesn't fit any known pattern, and likely forged in a star system we've never seen. Astronomers are calling 3i Atlas the strangest visitor yet. And this chase isn't over. The universe has sent us a message in ice and dust, from the farthest reaches of the galaxy. The only question now is, what will it reveal next?